Now, in this video, we will going to address about get, get CH, get CHE, and put CH. Get CH, if the user wants to read a character from the keyboard without echo, that is, typed character will not be visible on the screen, then get CH function is used. The character thus entered will be stored in memory location. So this is the main function of the get ch function. When you take get ch he, so here it is if the user wants to read a character from the keyboard with echo, that is type character will be visible on the screen, then get ch he function is used. The character thus entered will be stored in memory location. And then we have the last put ch function this is basically used to display a character stored in memory location. So then we have to use the put ch function. Now, now we're going to take up a simple program to read a character and to display a character on the screen using get ch and put ch functions. So to do that, we have an executable program wherein an include stdio stdio.h then we have the main function then we are declaring a char as ch ch is the variable name and the type is char and we are assigning that ch to be having a get ch and then to display the character so this is the input what is get ch and put ch to display the character then we use the put ch function and we are assigning that put ch with ch as the variable name. So what will going to be the input and the output? The input will going to be a. Once you type a, the character will not be visible. But once you run this program, you are going to get the output as a that put ch function will going to be displayed on the screen. Now we will going to take this example and we'll try to execute by using the C program. So to do that, we will go for first the Turbo C, log into the Turbo C++, then uh, we will going to include hash include stdio.h, uh, we will take stdio.h also, then hash include less than symbol conio dot h then the function main then main then braces then char is the variable type the variable name is ch enter then we will going to assign that ch as get ch function get ch then we are going to display that by using put ch function ch and say this then we are going to have get ch then we will going to have the executable statement. Now we will going to run this program. So we are going to run. So once I type a character, I will say A. Then the display will not be there. So if you see that, you will going to get that A here. Then if I type B, then run it. Then if you say here, put CH, you will going to get this. So now, here I will type C. So this is how we will be able to get this answer. Suppose if I remove this get CH here, then, then run it. Then if I type D, it will not be visible. That is basically because we have removed the get CH function there. So that is the reason. So the input if you are given, then that input will not be visible because of the function what you have the get ch. 
So the main function of this get ch is the typed character will not be visible on the screen. So if I type e now, I am typing e, but that is not visible on the screen. But once you run it, so because due to the put ch function, that will be visible here as e. As we are not provided with a clear screen, we cannot provide the clear screen. So what happens if I provide a clear screen? Let us see. If you say CLR is CR here and try to execute this, if you run it, so if I type A, so if you run it, the A should be displayed on the screen, but it will not be displayed here. That is basically because since we are uh, using the clear screen, so the clear screen will go into what it does is it will go into clear the screen of the previous executed running program. So that is the reason why you are not able to see the character here. So if you want to execute this program, you should always avoid the clear screen here. So if you remove this clear screen, then if you run it, now if I say A, you will be able to get it. Suppose similarly if I type B, again if you run it, so B will be there. But since we are running the second time, the first character will also be there. So that is the only disadvantage here. Then, so get CHP executed, the character entered from the keyboard stores in the memory and identified by variable CH. Then put CH is executed, the character stored in the memory location identified by variable is displayed on the monitor. So this is what it does here on your screen. Now, we will uh, try to execute uh, the one more program. So to do that, before that we will go to that and we will uh, see how it functions there. Now we will come down to this. So we will go for the next program. So the next program, so from the current slide, so here request the user to enter a character and displays a message on the screen telling the user whether the character is an alphabet or digit or any other special character. So to do that, first we're going to have include stdio.h, then include conio.h, include ctype.h, basically because we are using some functions here, which is of uh, alphabet, digit and uh, digit. So that is the reason why we are using ctype function and then main. So here, uh, flower brasses char is the variable name having uh, sorry variable uh, uh, type having the character as the variable name so printf that is the obviously which i want to enter any key because here the user enter a character since he, the user has to enter a character the character has to be displayed so we have to press any key for that to enter so then what it does is that character will going to be assigned with the get character function. So because that is the character which you are entering, then it will check. So is if, if the entered character is an alphabet, if it is true, that is greater than zero, if it is true, then the character is a letter. So it will execute that. Suppose if it is false, that means the entered character is not a letter, then it will check else what again there is one more if for statement wherein is the entered character is the digit that means it may be a number it is true then it has to print the character is a digit suppose if it is not a character uh, suppose if it is not a digit also then what is the next alphabet i mean what is the next uh, this uh, the next one will be it is a symbol so else the character has to be a special character. So this is how we need to execute this program. So how the output will going to be, you can see here, if you press any key, if I press H, so since it is an alphabet, it checks for the character is an alphabet, yes, so it is a letter. And again, when you run for the second time, if you type any number, so it will going to try to check this here. So the enter character is a uh, alphabet, no it is false then it comes to this else is the enter character is a digit yes so then it prints the character as a digit then then the special character if what you press any key if you have, uh, type a special character 
so then that character will be assigned to this character and then then it will checks for the character is it a alphabet no so then else is it a character i mean is it a digit no then it will comes print the character is a special character so this is how the program will going to be executed now we will going to try to do the same problem by using the c program so to do that so first i will go for uh, turbo c then we will going to include include stdio.h then include include conio.h include include c type dot h then main then braces then char is the variable type character is the variable name then printf that is by using the standard input output statement so here what we can type is i will say press any key press any key key slash n then i will assign the character as get ch function character will be get ch function so once you use that get character if is alphabet is alpha character character greater than 0 if it is true then print f print f the character is a letter d character character is a letter then suppose if it is not then else else what then we need to check what if is digit character is a digit is greater than 0 yes then you take print f the character is a digit the character is a digit else else printf the character is a special character the character is a special character is a special character then get ch function get ch then close it and here in the beginning you include clr fcr so this is the actual program what you need to execute so to do that i will say run press any key i will say a the character is a special key press any key the character is a letter it should be why it is coming like this a press any key so character 
is get CH function. That is basically because we have committed a mistake here minus. So instead of using equals, I have used the minus sign. So that is the reason why you are getting this uh, error. So even though it has executed, but because of this uh, minus sign, you are not able to get that answer. Now press any key. If I say A, the character is a letter. Then one should do that. So then I need to go for this. What it does? So first, when I type A, A is a character. So is alpha is a character is greater than zero? Yes. That character is A. A is true. That is, it is an alphabet. Therefore, the first this itself will going to be executed. Then when you go to the next one, suppose if I want to type R, R now I will say eight. The character is a digit. What it does is. So first, once you enter the character, the character will be assigned with the number. It's a, it's a eight is the number which I have entered. So first, it will checks is the alpha. It is an alphabet. No, else it will checks. It, then it comes to this loop. If uh, this condition a, is the entered character is a digit. Yes, therefore the character is a digit. That's what it gives the answer. Then similarly, if you run this program again. If I type something like star, I will say star. The character is a special character. So what it does? Again, the entire character is a star. So first it will checks for this. It is not there. So then else it will checks for this. Again, it is not a digit. Else it print f. The character is a special character. So this this uh, statement will be executed in the third executable statement. Now, as we have run the program with the same characters, we are going to do that. I will say H. H. It's a character is a letter. Then again, run. I will say the run. Is, I will type five. The character is a digit. Then I will say run. Then I will going to enter the symbol as star. So I will press star. The character is a special character. So this is how this program will going to be executed. So we'll just come out of this and say I will say no. So this is how this uh, program is executed in this uh, C program. Now we go for the next uh, in the next video we will going to talk about gets and puts function. Thank you.